Hi, Dr. Biology here, and this is a part four of uh, cell transport. So hopefully you have already seen my videos on diffusion, osmosis and active transport. If you haven't, I suggest you look at those first. And then this video is looking at comparing cell transport. So in your specification, they say that you need to know the similarities and differences between all three types of transport. OK, so what I've got here is a Venn diagram and you can see there are three circles, one for diffusion, one for osmosis and one for active transport. And you can see that they're overlapping. Now, um, in terms of Venn diagrams, so if, for example, there was a feature in this part here where my cursor is, then well, in fact, let's use this. OK, so if it was in this part, then that would be diffusion only. OK, whereas if I put in that part, it would only be osmosis. However, if I put a feature in the middle there, then that's both diffusion and osmosis. If it's if it's right in the middle, then it's going to be all three. So it's found in diffusion, osmosis and active transport. Whoop. <laughs> OK, so um, as you can see, I've got features on the right hand side. OK, and what I would like you to do is to pause this video in a minute and I'd like you to actually write down. So copy the Venn diagram and then write down which features do you think would be in which sections. So here we go. So I'd like you to pause now. OK, so I hope you did pause the video and you have had a go yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to learn very much. So um, I'd really ask for you to do that first is to have a go. Right. So let's go through the answers. So first one involves water only. So that would be osmosis. Next one requires energy. Well, that's active transport. It requires energy from respiration. Next one doesn't require energy. Well, that's both diffusion and osmosis. That's a form of what we call passive transport. Movement of particles. Well, that would be all three because all three involve the movement of particles, whether it be oxygen, carbon dioxide, water in osmosis or um, glucose in active transport. They are all particles or molecules. So need next one needs a partially permeable membrane. That would be in osmosis. It's also known as a semi-permeable membrane against a concentration grade. Oh, sorry, high to low concentration. That would be both diffusion and osmosis. So particles move from a high to a lower concentration. Or in terms of osmosis, it would be dilute to more concentrated solution. So next one, against a concentration gradient, that would be active transport and occurs in nature well all three would occur in nature next one how minerals get into root hair cells well that is active transport um, how oxygen leaves a leaf and that would be through diffusion and how water keeps plant cells firm now that would be osmosis so there we go so in a nice venn diagram you can see the similarities and differences of different features related to cell transport. I hope you found that uh, video useful. Please do subscribe to Dr. Biology and also put on your alerts for new videos. So thanks for listening and I will see you soon.